Hello everyone, Weather Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on weather across Jamaica and the Caribbean. It is Monday evening, December 26, 2022. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video, share it, subscribe and tap notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video. Also feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know what the weather has been like in your ear recently. Also feel free to ask any weather related question that you might have about the future of the weather in your specific area. I respond to all comments and I really live for this stuff. Alright so let us take a look at the significant feature map across the Atlantic for this evening. Same as yesterday we still have that high pressure ridge dominating across the Atlantic bringing all of that easterly wind into the Caribbean and we still have that stationary cold front that's affecting portions of the Bahamas, Cuba, and Central America with overcast sky, showers, and thunderstorms as well. And if we actually look back at the satellite images, we can see the clouds associated with that cold front still affecting those specific areas. So portions of Guatemala, Honduras, Belize, portions of the Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico, sections of the Cayman Islands, Cuba, portions of the southern portions of Florida and the Bahamas getting in on some amount of overcast skies and showers. We can also see all of those clouds that came into portions of eastern Jamaica today that spread across portions of central and western Jamaica as well. We can also see a lot of clouds, a lot of low level clouds that is pushing in from the North Atlantic coming all the way down, coming down from east to west, affecting portions of the Windward and Leeward Islands, even portions of Puerto Rico getting in on some rainfall. We're going to be talking more about that later on. Let's focus our attention on what was predicted yesterday across Jamaica for today. It was stated that we would have received some amount of rainfall in the late morning hours across portions of eastern Jamaica and then it would have spread in the afternoon to portions of central and western Jamaica and as seen on the larger view on the satellite images earlier we can see that that indeed was what actually happened. And another post was made at 8.56 this morning when we saw the clouds making their approach into eastern Jamaica. Then another post was made close to midday when we actually had the clouds start breaking over portions of St. Thomas, Portland and then they actually made their way into portions of central and western Jamaica. And we can see on the satellite images where we actually had overcast skies and some showers across portions of central and western Jamaica, mainly across the northern sections as well and if we actually look at Doppler radar images we could still see that we have some amount of rainfall that was exiting portions of western Jamaica during recording hours so you know the, yel the yellows represent strong rainfall and the green represent moderate rainfall so portions of let's say Hanover, Westmoreland, gotten and some amount of rainfall in the late evening hours and if we actually look back at the satellite uh, if we actually look at the Caribbean Institute for Meteorology and Hydrology website, we actually see where we actually had those um, showers in millimeters. So the rain came in from the east and it moved in a sort of westerly to the west or to the west northwest. So a kind of east southeasterly flow across the island in a sense and it exited majority of the rainfall to portions of northern and western Jamaica during the afternoon. Alright, so let us talk temperatures. For tonight, we're having the average temperatures as usual with the wind coming in from the east. So 26 degrees Celsius in Mora Bay, 25 degrees Celsius in Falmouth, the usual 20 degrees Celsius in Mandeville, 26 degrees Celsius in Negril. And as for tomorrow, this is 18th on Tuesday. We can see we're still having average or slightly above average temperatures across the Caribbean, indicated by all of those gold colors on the euro model and the gfs model is showing something similar let's talk wind direction so for tomorrow we're gonna be having anywhere from 10 to 20 knot winds especially on the south coast with the strongest winds coming in from the east and where does all of this air pile up look at the blues that signify the least amount of wind portions of inland areas of central and western jamaica so if there's a chance of afternoon rainfall all of the air will be piling up and formulating some clouds and some afternoon showers to portions of inland areas of central and western Jamaica. And if we actually look at the GFS model, the GFS is in consensus with what the Euro is showing as well. And with the wind shear coming in from the west, it will be keeping most of that afternoon convection into portions 
of inland areas of central and western parishes all right so let us talk about the precipitation forecast on the euro model we're seeing some blues across portions of central and western jamaica during the afternoon or the late afternoon hours so that's 5 pm and the gfs is showing something similar um not much showing um activity before this time so it looks like we're in for some early evening late afternoon rainfall across portions of central and western jamaica so if you have something to do try to get it done early all right so it makes sense that our workers here where the jamaica made a post stating are showing the same maps that were just shown so all of these blues representing some amount of rainfall for portions of central and western jamaica on the late afternoon of tuesday december 27th all right so that's it for the forecast across jamaica let's start briefly about the caribbean shall we so as stated yes we have those low level patches of clouds coming in from the east across portions of the leeward islands including puerto rico we also have some clouds coming in associated with the intertropical convergence zone to portions of south america so french guyana suriname guyana and venezuela getting in on some overcast skies and some showers right there and if we actually look at the doppler radar images we can see the rainfall still affecting portions of florida cuba belize and the cayman islands associated with that cold front and we can actually also see the rainfall that affected portions of puerto rico today not to mention if we scroll down the rainfall that's still affecting portions of guyana suriname and french guyana at this time let's talk about the wind speed and wind direction tomorrow basically the same as um the past couple of days an easterly flow due to this high pressure ridge that's dominating across the north atlantic so a strong easterly flow lots of strong winds across portions of the leeward and windward islands according to both the euro and the gfs anywhere from 10 to 30 or 10 to 25 knot winds all right so let us talk about the rainfall forecast so we can see that we're going to be having some amount of rainfall across portions of the leeward islands as well as portions of trinidad and venezuela and that is being shown on both maps both the euro and the gfs models are in agreement about some amount of rainfall anywhere from 0 0.1 to up to almost an inch of rainfall especially in trinidad and tobago even portions of nicaragua getting in on some of the rainfall on both maps as well as portions of the cayman islands and cuba and if we actually look ahead over to the west to portions of the gulf of mexico including belize yucatan sections of mexico getting in on some rainfall according to the euro model even into the purples and the blues so up to even um let's say four or more inches of rainfall out to the sea east of nica um east of the bellies area right there on the euro gfs is showing something similar but not as robust as the euro model so we we see that the stalled out cold front is bringing a lot of rainfall to portions of the western are the northwestern portions of the caribbean so i hope that those persons who are there are taking the, ne the necessary precautions so that they're not that drastically affected all right so that's it for today thanks for watching